Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we have had about a little over 30 millimeters of rain over the last 24 hours, so quite a lot. Part of the uh, consequences of that is this. Things are greening up really quickly. So very high on my list is now going to have to be getting the uh, lawn tractor into the shop, battery back in it, and get it ready to go. But for today, we're gonna get on the ATV and head out and check our trail cameras because it's been about a month now since they've been uh, out in their new locations. So we'll see what happens. I suspect we may get skunked on a couple of the cameras, but I'm hoping there will be uh, something interesting there for us to uh, watch. So let's get the ATV going and head out into the bush. Well, that's a problem. Well, you can probably hear it. We've had a lot of rain and things are showing it here. There's a lot of water coming down the stream. Everything is still flowing really nicely. But there's been so much coming down the sides, too, that we've now got water showing up in the uh, tracks. But boy, it's really going. Look at that. All right, so we will try to get up uh, to the upper part here. So I actually don't want to bring the ATV down through this. It's just gonna be quite muddy and make more of a mess. So we are going to back out of this trail where we're sitting and see if we can get up to the Coliseum area through the side trail here. So let's get moving with that. Yeah, I'm obviously going to need to bring the uh, chainsaw down. I think just the little DeWalt chainsaw uh, we'll do it to at least get the trail cleared from uh, all of this so we can drive through it. Not that that's any rush because we won't be doing that right away. All right, let's back the uh, ATV out of here and uh, try this side trail. And then we'll see if we can get back in and have a look at the Coliseum area.
All right, let's go get our first uh, camera. Okay, here's camera number one. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, have we ever got a lot of water? Holy mackerel. Yeah, look at this down here. Okay, well. We are over four feet deep now. So this is one of the areas that uh, I'm targeting to get under control. And you can see why. You know, this is all just turned to swamp and it's killing all these trees. And then you can see the mess down here. All right, let's head for the Coliseum and see how it looks. Well, we're in the Coliseum area. Now these two trees were down the last time we were here, so that's not an addition. Actually, I don't see any new trees down. And there is still lots of water, but it's still not as flooded as it was. So the little bit of work that I did here clearing this has made a significant difference. The water is really flowing, as you can see. So if it wasn't for the work we did earlier, This would be knee deep in water. The stream is just not big enough to carry it away that fast, but <laughs> it is carrying it away. That's the important thing. It is working, but boy, it's a lot wetter here now. All right, folks, let's uh, keep moving through here. So if you look at this spot, the Colosseum here, this is like a basin here. There's the hills on the side. There's a couple of hills over here. And there are one, two, three, four, five little valleys that come down into this spot. So this is where everything collects. This is where the snow melt collects. This is where the rain collects. So it, uh, it's no wonder there's a lot of water here. But we will try to alleviate some of that. Not all of it, but some of it. All right, let's keep moving through.
I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video and if you are enjoying it I'd really appreciate the like and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and if you've got any suggestions thoughts anything like that I'd love to hear from you all right let's get back to work <laughs> spooked about six deer coming back through here and they went flying away in front of us. I'm surprised we got as close as we did before they took off. All right, so we'll, we'll pick that one up later. Right now we've got to walk down. Uh, I want to get the one that's down this hill here. And it never shows it well on the camera, but this gets really steep can see my little uh, orange tags here and there that uh, mark the route down to the camera. So the deer are out here. I mean, we just saw them. All right, there's the deer stand there. There is a lot of water out there in the marsh. Holy mackerel. I don't think the water level was that high even after the melt. Oh no. <laughs> Turkey feathers. Oh my goodness. Here I was thinking I'd be avoiding them. Let's walk down here and have a peek down here. Look at this trail. Have I got my camera in the wrong spot? Holy mackerel. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make out of this clearing here. That uh, seems a bit unusual. There is old stumps back in here. There's quite a pile of trees down. Like that's an old stump that was cut. You can see them all over the place. I might have to reconsider where I put this camera. We'll see what's on the camera once we get it back. Wow, this is a popular spot. There's even a log there that's partly trampled down by how often they go through that spot. Maybe I'll have to put two, another camera down here. We'll see if I've got one camera that is a dud, then I'll bring, I'll bring it down here. Now the camera, this is the one I had high hopes for. That's set back in here. There's the camera there. And you can see how it's facing into this area, which is really a very clear path here. So it's possible that anything that's coming through down to that other little clearing has to come through here first. So I'm hoping this is a real good catch on this camera. All right, we'll grab it, head back up to the ATV, get turned around and get ourselves up to the next camera location. We've got two more to go after this one. There is water everywhere. All right, we're coming up to a really, really steep hill. And as we come up to it, we'll come up uh, and go past uh, Turtle Rock. I'll point Turtle Rock out to you. I think I've showed that on uh, a previous video. And you should get a pretty good idea of why it's referred to as Turtle Rock. All right, let's get rolling and uh, do this climb.
right, there's our flag. We'll go get that camera. Now this is uh, just a basin that has no real source of water. It's just all melt and runoff. That's, that's what the whole thing is. You can see my uh, orange tag over there. I'm glad I put those in. It would have been very tough to spot these cameras otherwise. Yeah, it's a lot of water down there. So this is the edge of my property here. All right, we'll gather this camera up. We got one more to go that's a little back closer to the house. Now I put this one here, not knowing what I was going to see, but it kind of looks like the leaves are kicked up here. So there might be something on this. All right, we'll gather this, one more camera to go. Then I got to bring them all back out again too. Now that water sure is running, even though there's no real source to it except melt and runoff. There's a lot there. Well, there's our last marker. So I'm not sure what we're going to find on this one. This was just this one was just put here as a hunch thinking, yeah, it looks pretty. Maybe we can catch a glimpse of things moving around down through this valley. I don't know. But I can see that this is a mistake here. This thing is fluttering way too much. Uh, anything that would come in this direction would probably be thrown off by that. So I'm going to tie this back and grab that last camera and then we're going to head back. So that's going to be it for today's video I think folks. I'll put a little teaser at the end of this of uh, a couple of clips that I hope to find on the, uh, on the cameras. We'll see how it looks. And then uh, if we have a decent little collection, I'll put a full video out of them later on. So if you've been enjoying these videos, please give it a like and share it around. And I would really love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would help an awful lot. So remember to be safe out there, be good to one another, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.